guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a little story time for you guys i haven't did a story time in a long time you guys really seem to like my last story time that i did about my hairstylist and everything but i'll put the like the little thumbnail right here um it got over 3,000 views so i want to thank you guys so much but today i'm going to be doing a little scary story time this really shook me because the other day i looked up what happened and i was like this is exactly what happened to me so I'm not gonna make this intro too long if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also give this video a big thumbs up so yeah without further ado let's get into the video so today I'm gonna be telling you guys about the time I had sleep paralysis and what actually happened in my dream and I have a live footage of that night because I was so shaken up I couldn't go back to sleep so I got on snapchat and I started snapchatting everything that happened so as you know you guys can't really see my dream but I'm going to be telling you guys what actually happened to me what frightened me so much about the whole situation so if you know me you know i love creepy stuff you know i love scary movies i love paranormal activity conspiracy theories everything that scares you i love for example if i see a scary movie i would not sleep that night i'll probably stay up all night with the light on just because i'll be scared but during the scary movie i'll be like mesmerized i'll be excited about seeing it but when the lights go off and everything you have and when it's time to go to sleep i'm just terrified because i saw that scary movie but leading up to this whole situation i've been like watching a lot of conspiracy theories on youtube a lot of paranormal stuff like ouija boards and everything like that videos i don't even know why i started watching them but they're like so interesting you know, on YouTube, you just click on one video and you end up on thousands of more videos that's like similar to that one. But, um, that's what kind of happened. You know, it was no problem at the time. Like at night, I can like easily go to sleep because I'll watch them in the daytime and then go to sleep at night. I'll like probably forget about it. The night that I had sleep paralysis, um, I don't know if you can have it just for one night or multiple days. So in my room, I have a dream catcher and simply dream catchers are supposed to like give you good dreams i don't really know but this particular night it did not work this event happened a whole month ago but this is what happened so i went to bed around one or two o'clock um this particular night because it's summertime and i usually don't go to sleep until late oh so, um i was just watching movies you know on my phone on instagram playing games whatever so go to bed you know i'm sleeping 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 don't really know when i sleep i i don't really know it probably took me about an hour to fall asleep so i want to see like i went to bed at two o'clock go to sleep and um all of a sudden i'm awake In my mind i'm like i'm still asleep but physically i'm awake so the way i was sleeping my head was like kind of facing the door so i can see the door i can see the little bar on my bed so the front of my bed and the door the next thing i know i see something standing on the foot of my bed and i swear to you i saw i saw a black figure and it was tall and then it just started like moving like this like this and the whole time i'm just looking at like my eyes are like wide open and i can't i can't say anything i can't scream because i usually like when i have a bad dream i'll scream out my mom's name and then she'll come in my room but this time i could not say anything like five minutes go by and the thing is still standing right there not doing anything just swinging back and forth so it's just creeping me out even more I don't feel anything I just I'm just looking at it it's just right there just standing swinging like this swinging just like this so finally I don't know what happened but I scream out something I like yell something my mom said she said it was so loud that it kind of like woke her up out of her sleep and I screamed it again and she ran down the hallway and she was just like what like what happened blah blah, blah. i'm like i saw something standing on the foot of my bed she was like you need to start watching all those scary movies and i'm like that isn't what happened because i literally saw something standing and moving on my bed in the front of my bed she's like it's nothing go back to sleep blah 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 at this point i did not want to go back to sleep she left and she was just like making sure everything was okay with me because i obviously nothing was wrong that rest of the night i didn't go back to sleep or anything i stayed up and i was just snapchatting like after the whole incident because i was so scared like 
this a scary feeling it's a scary sight when you know you're asleep in your mind but you're actually awake and you can't move you can't do anything you're just looking and that's what i was doing i was just looking at the door looking and i could see my best friend. this big figure it looked like a man i don't I don't know, but he was just swinging like right here, just swinging back and forth on my bed. And I'm just like, what the fuck? I'll just put the Snapchats right here somewhere. So after that whole situation, I was just scared to sleep in my room. I was scared for a whole week. So two weeks ago, the same thing happened, but in a different form, if you get what I mean. This particular night, I just sleep around 1 or 2, 1 or 2 o'clock, like the first time it happened. I have this little humidifier thing on the side of my bed that turns color. I usually turn it off, just turn the light off and leave the humidifier on. This night, I was tired, so I just left the lights, like, kept the lights going the lights go from blue to red to green to yellow to different colors so again i wake up but i know that i'm still asleep i mentally know that i'm still asleep but my my eyes are wide awake so i wake up and i look at my ceiling i don't see anything i'm just looking for like five to four minutes nothing is there and I can't move my head. I'm just looking at my ceiling. I must have fell asleep on my back or something. Maybe five or four minutes go by and um, I look up. I, I'm just looking and out of nowhere, a tarantula appears on my ceiling. I have a huge fear of spiders. Like, it's so big. Like, I would actually cry if I see a spider. I don't know. I hate spiders. This big ass tarantula is on my ceiling. I'm just looking. I'm probably like shitting myself right now because it's big <laughs> it's like huge it's like as big as my whole wrist probably even bigger and it starts like moving around my ceiling slowly and I'm just freaking out I already know I was freaking out my heart was just beating fast my eyes like probably got big and I'm just like please do not follow me circling around my ceiling and then it falls, it falls, but I wake up, jump out of my bed, just sitting, I'm just standing there like this. Like what just happened? I'm just standing there freaked out. And at this time, my sister was still up. It was maybe two or three o'clock in the morning and she was still up. So I called her and I was like, I just saw a big tarantula on my ceiling. And she's like, what? And I'm like, can you come help me find it? She comes upstairs, looks around my room, like we're moving stuff around and there's nothing there um i'm just like freaked out at this point i'm like it's probably under my bed it's probably fell on my bed crawled under my pillow so i'm not gonna sleep in here so i decide not to sleep in my room that night and i go inside my den so i go inside the den and i turn the tv on and i'm just sitting on the couch when i look up on the ceiling and i see this little spider it's like maybe this big and it's just like coming towards me. I'm just like shocked because like, come on, like this so much, like come on. But I'm just shocked because I just had a dream. I don't even know what that was about a spider, a tarantula falling on me, getting up, looking around, and I go downstairs and it's a spider on the ceiling crawling towards me, and it was crawling fast. So I call my sister in there again. So we kill it, and the spider looked poisonous. I don't know. It had like. It was kind of like a bluish, blackish tint. I don't really know, but it looks, it looked very poisonous. And that was it for the night. I went to sleep. I went to sleep in her room because I wasn't sleeping in my room because I didn't even know. I don't know if it was real or not. It looked so real. I'm telling you guys, it looks so real. I can't stress this enough. It's so scary. Just the feeling like you can't even get up and move. It's just like you're just sitting there. You have, you just have to watch. It's so scary. If you guys ever had this kind of experience, let me know in the comments down below. And also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys want more story times. And don't forget to hit my subscribe and notification button down below because I will be posting more videos, I promise. Love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>
baby, I've been slipping back, dead in south, car sick on a Tuesday, missing cash, blacking out, heartless in a few ways, shit for luck, elbow shredded, I help things steady like too late, please.